Hey guys, Ideal Holsters. Uh, today I thought I'd um, show you some of the uh, bison belts that we have, um, that I have. Uh, these are some of the designs they have and styles. And I thought I'd just go over the differences in them and just show you that they uh, offer more than just a, um, a very wide, thick belt. So we'll start with the uh, one they call the Millennium, which is this one right here. This is kind of an everyday casual belt. It's uh, 30 millimeters in, um, in width for the nylon strap. And that's uh, a little over an inch. But uh, if you just needed a belt for every day and still want to carry a small handgun on your side, these these belts work great, and that uh, Ruger LCP holster I made, um, <clears throat> excuse me, those belt loops I made it just for this um, belt, because the uh, person carrying that gun has one of these, and they wanted a snug fit where the gun didn't move up and down a lot, so uh, that's what I did for them on this, and uh, as you see, um, simple way to hook in, you come in one side, you loop over, go back in, and uh, it creates a, you know, it binds down on itself just like the rest of them. Very strong. And once again, we see the uh, bison designs. Okay, and once again, also great to see. Main USA and Colorado. And this is uh, the large. Uh, the great thing about these belts, it's like any nylon product, is uh, it's too long, you cut it, and you can burn it, just like that. So you kind of make it fit to you on these belts, just the nylon straps. So um, these belts you can find on Rhino Bison's uh, website, and I'll annotate that somewhere in this video. Just click on it, take it to the website. But they're selling for, uh, they start at $14.50. That's not bad, you're getting a lot of product for your money. You know, of course, plus shipping and handling. But you're getting something that's made right here in the States, and it's something that's going to last forever. I mean, this is very high quality nylon. And uh, there's differences in high quality nylon. You can tell when some of it's uh, porous and feels more cottony kind of feeling. This just feels um, real slick. Uh, you can tell it's water resistant. So it's good nylon. Uh, they have uh, several different patterns you can do. Um, these uh, standard colors, I believe I got the computer going right here uh, for reference. I think it's uh yeah, it's this color, the black, the olive. So this color, the black, the olive, and then they have a um, mesquite and a chocolate. So different variations, and also. They have different styles of this buckle, but still with the 30 millimeter um, width. So once again, like I'm saying, you can there's different variations of this belt you can get. And uh, Mother's Day coming up. For those who uh, are married and have wives, they have these belts with some different style buckles and some cool girly patterns of flowers, kind of like a Vera Bradley style going. Um, so. That, that's the Millennium. It's going to be a short vid. I just want to brief you on Bison Designs because I don't think many people know about these belts. Because um, I checked the website and I think they only had uh, nine plus ones on their Google thing. Uh, I gave them one so I made it ten. So I don't think that many people know about them. So I give them a little air time here for them. Because they do have a great product. Moving on to the uh, what they call the last chance light duty this is my first belt from bison picked this up at a um, hiking store up in the mountains and I fell in love with it when I saw it because of the design I love the black with the gun metal I thought that looked great and also I wanted one of these belts that was simple uh, the, D, the D loop or D ring however you want to call it design where it binds on itself and as you see when you pull down on it it essentially just bites it 
So, this uh, belt's running at 38 millimeters, and uh, in our language, that would be an uh, inch and a half. Once again, high quality nylon. Uh, the loop here, the D loop, is uh, aircraft aluminum. So it's very lightweight. This is a very lightweight belt. Um, wish I had a scale, but it's, it's, I don't know, you can't even tell it's on you. That's what's great about these being aluminum. Uh, strength wise, maybe you uh, lose a little bit. This was, you know, versus stainless and aluminum. But you're not going to be carrying a thousand pounds on your, on your uh, waist, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. But uh, once again, uh, gunmetal finish, they're calling this the V-ring buckle. Excuse me, not D, V. <laughs> um, single layer nylon webbing. It's uh, The belt was uh, kind of inspired right here on the website to mention. Um, used by wildland firefighters and smoke jumpers. That's kind of where they got the idea, I guess. And um, I also forgot to mention their uh, quote on the website: "Relentless in innovation and creativity." So that's the belt. It's just one strand of nylon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, just the back side. And we got their uh, get the focus. There it is. Bison Designs LLC, the new liability company. Come right on the front, you can see right here it has only one stitch. Very small. And that's just to attach that that loop back around. So once again, it's what they say, light duty. These belts, starting price, fifteen dollars and fifty cents. How the hell you beat that? Can't. This also is an everyday belt. Uh, I wore this one quite some time before I acquired one of these. We'll get that one in a minute. you will already seen this one. But um, for 15 bucks, you can't beat that. Of course, again, shipping and handling. And it don't take that long for them to come. I think it took about three to four days when I ordered this one. So it don't take long. Um, also to mention... Uh, excuse me, forgot to mention the size on this one. This is a large. I kind of made a mistake, but this is the only one they had in the store. Like I said, got this one in the store. Man USA. And for to save their butts in the court, not intended for climbing. But they had different sizes that vary here. Uh, Again, that's the medium, that's up to a 38 inch waist. The large is for a 42 inch, and then they have an extra large, extra big, uh, 46 inch waist. So, that's that one. Oh. And then, uh, again, they got some different designs on the belts. In different patterns, and you'll pay Alexa for those different patterns. I think they have some. Uh, you check. Yep, I have a uh, real tree pattern. If you're into that, if you want to use it for, uh, you know, when you go hunting or something, that'd be a cool idea. So yeah, that's the uh, light duty, last chance. Now we're gonna move on to the Mac Daddy, and I'm gonna push you to the side. This is the heavy duty, last chance. 38 millimeters crossed, one and a half inch. Uh, these are um, double layered nylon, and they say it's reinforced with 12 feet of extra sewing. So we go from having this one little notch of stitch to 12 feet, and you can't really see it. I'll try to get it on there for you, but you can see the stitches all through here. It's kind of a extra long box and it goes all the way down. All the way down. 
do the Velcro and everything. And essentially, it's to bind these two pieces of a uh, excuse me, two pieces, two layers of nylon together for that strength. Black anodized aluminum V ring. Got their bison designs once again on the back. And uh, this one also too was inspired by Wildland Firefighters and Smoke Jumpers. It's um, got the Velcro, like I said. So it just comes almost like a duty belt where you can put the excess over and it goes around your belt. Like that. So, what's cool about these belts are, uh, get this right here. So what's cool about these is when you have your gun on you, um, compared to these others here, you'll notice a significance in the way your gun is held on against your body. There's no much, there's no more sagging. It doesn't feel like somebody's tugging at your waist. Um, holds the gun upright and uh, like a duty belt. And that once again comes from these double layers of nylon. Uh, these are starting at $24. But shipping and handling, again, how do you beat that for $24? And uh, you can't beat it at all. And you can see right here, they have a um, box stitch going. And they have it again on the back where it finishes up. Must have bind those two pieces together. So you get a lot for your money. Uh, and this one is too. Made in USA, Colorado, like all the others. This is a small. And I did this one right. Because on the website it says... The small is for a 32 to 36 inch waist. And I'm a uh, smaller guy. And uh, the 32 is what I wear in uh, shorts and pants. So that's kind of what I based that off of. And when I'm wearing it, I still have quite a good amount of slack on the side. When it's on me, I probably have, I don't know, I can't really do it, but... The excess probably comes about this far over here on the side from here. So it's pretty good length. So it would definitely fit up to a, what they mentioned here, a 36 inch waist. So yeah, you would have no problems with that. Um, that's pretty much uh, I got for the belts right now. Like I said, I just want to give them some air time because these are great belts. And, um, for the money, you cannot beat them. As you see down here, they do an awesome job finishing off the stitching of another box stitch and then uh, cutting edges and burning them quite nicely. So, nothing snagging or anything on you like that. But if you uh, carry a gun every day, your permit or whatever, definitely get the heavy duty. Uh, if you have a 380 smaller lightweight gun and you want a belt to wear every day, go for the uh, light duty of the last chance. And then if you just want one just to wear, uh, I go with the Millennium. I wouldn't really recommend carrying a gun on these because they are quite flimsy. Even if you were carrying a lightweight gun, <clears throat> I mean, you can do it, it's possible. I'm just saying. I will go to a uh, standard size belt. But uh, I have a competitive option for the uh, heavy duty bison. And you're going to love the price difference here. And what I went with was the, uh, what do they call this thing? The 511 tactical operator belt, which is only an inch and three quarters wide. They claim it'll hold up to 6,000 pounds, and that's only only due to their st full stainless steel D-ring. And that's uh, why it can hold that many much pounds. And once again, why do you need 6,000 pounds on your side? 
I mean, I get if you're, you know, doing some rock climbing, but you really don't weigh 6,000 pounds. So this, again, this would work if you had to use it for something. They just have that, uh, not intended for climbing, to save their butts in court. <clears throat> but the 511 Tactical Operator Belt, right on the website, says uh, $44.99. So $45 plus shipping and handling for that one belt. And it's only offered in three other colors. It looks like it's a black, a uh, coyote tan, and a olive color. So, I mean, that's a competitive option. Look for some others. Can't really find any. Um, I think John from uh, Philly EDC, he's showing off some boxer tactical belts. And those remind me a lot of these here. And I really don't know if the other, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if that belt, if their buckle is a stainless or aluminum. So, but that's a, just a quick uh, look at some bison belts. Like I said, you've seen these a lot on my uh, channel here and my videos because I just love these belts. Plain and simple. I just love them. Especially for the price point. So, uh, thanks guys for checking out this video. It's kind of a, looks like a long one. Looks like I did 16 minutes on this one. Uh, I don't think YouTube's going to like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks uh, y'all. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, check out my website stuff. I'm going to have some uh, things coming available for sale. Right now it's Nothing really but some videos and information. Uh, but email me if you have any interest information on these. Uh, check out that link in the annotation. Check it out in the bottom of the description. I'm Patrick, and I'm out, guys. Have a good day. See you.